Imagine spending hours in the classroom every day teaching the next generation and then having to go to a second job to make ends meet. That's the reality for numerous teachers in Arkansas. In a special report, Fox 24's Caitlin Zollner finds out what's being done to help our teachers. Tony Workman wears a big smile to school each day. She's worked in education for almost two decades. I have a, a passion for it. I mean, it, I love it. Workmen moved from Oklahoma to Arkansas for greater opportunities. A lot of Oklahoma teachers um, walked out and they went to the state capitol and, you know, wanted teacher raises and things like that. So, you know, two years ago, that was me. She's now in her second year with the Huntsville School District. I feel like here in Arkansas, they do value what we do. They do appreciate, you know, our profession. Even though her salary is higher now, the single mom of three has to work more than one job to provide for her family. And I won't lie, it is stressful at times. You know, as a mother, you do what you have to do to, you know, to provide for your family. And Workman is not alone. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, 18% of teachers say they work multiple jobs. That's nearly one in five teachers. So what is Arkansas doing to change that statistic? Without teachers, quality teachers, we're not going to improve education in our state. Governor Asa Hutchinson signed House Bill 1145 into law this year, raising the minimum starting salary for teachers. That's fundamental in making sure that they understand that they are appreciated, uh, but also it's to recognize them, the quality teachers, what the difference they make uh, for our students. Under the law, the state will increase the minimum salary $4,000 over the next four years. The state also set aside $60 million for school districts below the minimum to reach the new mandated salary. Most of these are rural districts. Uh, they're districts that don't have, uh, you know, high urban population. Uh, they're struggling financially, and so we're setting aside money that they can tap into over the next four years. The governor is talking about school districts like Decatur. The average teacher salary there lags behind the state average. In fact, it's among the lowest in the state. Not everything is about money. James Garner is in his 19th year of teaching in Decatur. I've actually started to move a couple of different times, but each time there would be a group of students that I already knew who were younger that I really wanted to work with. He says small school districts struggle to recruit and retain teachers due to low pay. They realize that maybe they're not going to make us enough money to, to have a family, to support their family, you know. But it's really devastating for students who make connections with them and trust uh, and build trust in them, and then they're gone. Oftentimes, these teachers head to more populated areas, like Springdale, where teachers make more money. It is the reality of the way things work, not only in the state, but just about any area of business or, or anything that you're looking at. Rick Schaefer is with the Springdale School District. He says the district offers the highest starting teacher salary in the state. We do think that's an attraction to get good teachers here because we do feel like we need the best teachers. Uh, we're in a competitive uh, atmosphere. Schaefer says higher pay does not necessarily mean a better education. Just because we pay the best doesn't mean that there aren't other districts in the state that are high quality districts. It's just maybe a little bit more difficult for them to pay their teachers what they would like to. And the new teacher salary law should help with that. So it's nice that the state is doing that. But there's always the possibility they could do more. Teachers like Workman agree. Even though she loves teaching and cherishes the moments where she can see the impact she has on her students. This is where I want to be and this is where I'm going to stay. She dreams of a day when teaching will be enough. When my kids graduate from college, hopefully I won't have to work these extra jobs. And then I can look back and say, you know, wow, I did this to help my family and, you know, it was, it was worth it.